What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy Deuce here from One Level Entertainment and today we're going to be taking a look at a brand new product from Control Freak called the Control Freak Alpha. Now this is for the PS4, they also make it for the Xbox 360 and I say new because I mean completely new. This is actually the, uh, the first brand brand new product that Control Freak has brought our way. Um, of course they had, um, if you look at my other videos, they have a ton of great products which they've had new iterations of those products, but they've always followed the same height, which has either been the CQC, which is the short ones, or the FPS, which I'll show you here in a minute. But they've always had that. That's been um, the way that they've done stuff. Um, they've had tons of different colors, uh, designs, just really, really cool products, but this is brand new. And this is only for PS4 and Xbox 3, uh, excuse me, Xbox One. So PS4 and Xbox One, this is next gen. And this is called the Alpha as it should be. So let's get this bad boy open and I'm going to show you why this is probably going to be my new favorite go-to control freak and also what makes the big difference. Of course, have this new packaging. You can see here. Just flip it over to show you guys. Proof for tournament. Even though it's a new product, still proof for tournament play. Control freak, freak nation, and it is made in the US of A, go America. So let's get this thing out because I'm hyped about this. So... Here it is on their new their new product packaging. If you want to check out the back, snap tag share. There's the link, controlfreak.com, where you can get these. So, yes, this is the Control Freak Alpha. Now, let me show you what is so unique about these. Okay, so let's, we're going to take both of them out. So let's pop them off of here. This is their new packaging, their new retail packaging, which they have in stores. Best Buy, you can get them at Best Buy. You can get them straight from controlfreak.com. Now, I'm uh, going to bring controller over here so we can show it to you this for the PS4, of course. But before we do that, before we show it to you on the controller, I want to show you guys the difference. So, these, and let's uh, just hold one here so we don't get confused. This is the Alpha. As you can see, the top is caved in. Um, has like a dip down in it. I always get mixed up between the concave and convex. So I just say it's like caved in or domed. This one has like slightly, let's see if I can get it to really focus for you guys, slightly caved in. But I want to show you something. Um, so okay. So here are basically your two styles of control freaks that you had. This is a control freak CQC and you can see the height. And this, I, I use this one, this is the control freak CQC. Um, and it's kind of in like this grayish brownish color, little dimples on top, kind of has the same pattern on top as the alpha. So this is your height, your two height that you previously had. So this is a CQC, this is more of an FPS style, and you can see the height difference. So these are basically, the CQCs I've been running always on my left thumbstick because you don't really need a height. Uh, the FPSs I've been running on my right. So CQC on the left, that's how I usually run it, and FPS on the right, because that's your aim stick. So these are basically the styles that Control Freak have had forever. Now. Um, I would use these for a lot of games where I wasn't, didn't need that extra height for shooting, Minecraft, um, single player games, stuff like that. So, now, this is the Alpha. Now, I want to show you how short this is. And this is, generally, this is why I say this is going to be my new go-to for just casual games and stuff that you don't need, sp like, special control freaks for, or the FPS, or so on and so forth. Look how thin this is. So, let me get you guys a really good comparison here and you can see the height I want to make sure I have these like literally there you go so that is the height difference and as you can tell I'm trying to get it so it it focuses for you guys these things are extreme the alphas are extremely short but that's not all if we look at the front they're also extremely big which this is awesome for me for me this is probably the greatest thing about them is the increase in width and if we take this one like flip it upside down so you can see like this literally fits inside of this so you can see the difference in the width I like that because if you have big thumbs you know these are all comfortable CQ all control freaks me are comfortable when I heard about this and I got this um, got the email like the alpha I was like what look how big that is that fits my big thumb my huge thumb just fits on there so now the test is let's put this, let's put these, both of them. We're going to put 
put the other control freaks up side because this is about the alpha. The alpha up in here. Whoa, I'm dropping stuff. So here it is, guys. Control freak alpha. Time to show you what it looks like on the controller. As always, if you want to know how to put them on, they do tell you on the back of here. I think on the back here they tell you. Somewhere they tell you how to put them on. Yeah, on the back of the box they tell you how to put them on. But I'm doing this long. So the way I usually do it, if you don't want to read the back of your box when you get it, because I don't like to read instructions, I usually take the two tabs. There's three tabs on it. I take the two, like put them on maybe like the top or whatever, and then snap the bottom one on. Just push down. And let's do the other one. Two tabs on top. And push down on it. Boom. Oh, okay, now that, that is amazing. So there it is, the Troll Freak Alphas. There they are on it. Let you guys get a good look at them. As you can see, they do not add a lot of height. They barely add any height, which that is awesome. But the big thing is, oh my god. The, the width. To have thumbsticks that are so, because let's be honest. On the PS4, the thumbsticks, for me at least, now if you have smaller thumbs, you probably don't have this problem, but for me, the thumbsticks are very, very narrow. So what I always end up doing, as you can tell by this controller, I end up like wearing, um, now if I want to have the control freaks on, I was actually wearing the rubber out, because they do help you protect from wearing the rubber off the joysticks. It's a known problem. I've sent controllers back to PlayStation for it, so these help protect that, but the, the big thing is, since the thumbsticks were so narrow, I would be like pushing like this. Or end up doing this but with these man I can just put my hands right in the middle and that honestly feels and it, it, it looks weird it does look weird because they are so big but when you put your thumbs on there oh man that is beautiful but this is literally the first new control this is brand brand new this is the first new control freak design in a while and they have done an amazing job they have done an amazing job with these I like that they're dipped down in they're domed or uh, caved in Concave, I guess that's what you say, concave, whatever. Uh, but the, the width, that's what the, the width and the height. So you don't have to have that extra height. This is nice. This just makes me just want to play longer and more. Yeah. So there it is, guys. If you have uh, any questions, and if you want, what I'll do is I'll show you guys on the controller, side by side. Whoa. Throwing stuff around here, guys. Pardon me. Um, I want to show you guys just the... Because the only thing that could be comparable to this would be the CQC. And I just want to show you guys the difference. So here's the CQC. Here's the brand new Alpha. So the width, you can just tell. And you see when I put my thumb on there, it's like, I kind of feel like I want to do that instead of do that. But with this, it's just like, it fits my whole thumb so nice, I feel like I can just keep it in the middle. And then there's your height difference. As you can see, that adds barely any height. So that to me is awesome. Great job, Control Freak, on the Alpha. I am loving this. I am definitely going to be using this. This is going to be taken off and placed to the side. Put the new one on. Because this is this is my new... I think this is going to be my new go-to Control Freak. I mean, unless I am playing uh, Call of Duty. Then I'll probably go revert back to the Vortex so I can get that height. But even on my run. On my run stick, this is going to be always here. Whether I go, you know, add height to it this for my run stick and just being able to click down you don't have to like you can literally I can play like this with my thumbs off further I don't have to just jam my thumbs in there like that and then the click you don't have to do this you can just literally have so much more leverage over it it just feels like you have way more leverage with the width so yeah there it is guys that is the control freak alpha for the ps4 if you guys want to know anything about this I'll probably do a review after I use it for a while. Let you know, come back, let you guys know how excited I am about this. But yeah, Control Freak Out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I always try to answer any questions you guys have. Hopefully, you enjoy this video. If you do, hit that thumbs up. Uh, there it is, thumbs up, thumbs up, and uh, subscribe if you want to see more great videos. As always, guys, I'm your boy Deuce. This is One Level Entertainment. Take it easy, guys.